Another tip from Sean the Drone, especially with your RC screen for the uh, Mini 3 Pro, and that is maps. Now, I did put a video the other day saying about the maps, um, mainly for me because I haven't got a hotspot on my phone, but I thought I want to thank straight away Andy Air Shorts. Uh, cheers, Andy, because I was asking how you do it. I'm not really sure about maps because I'm not a great lover of putting maps up but i have seen quite a lot recently with guys have lost their drones mainly because obviously they're first time flyers uh and it, and it and it does happen so having a map on there is a great aid anyway so i thought i'd go through the process first thing you got to do is turn on the controller now don't you don't need to turn on your drone at all So we just wait till it loads up. Right, the first thing you need to do guys first is to make sure that the internet's on your RC. So we just scroll down from the top here. So my internet is on, so which is good. So you come out of that. We then go to connection guide. We then go to the top right hand corner which says camera view. Click on that. So this will bring up the screen on your RC screen. So what we want is the map. So down in the bottom left hand corner is the map. So we just tap on the map, tap on it again. So then we got a larger version. So what, we, what we're going to need to do now, guys, is zoom into the area that you want to be flying in. So at the moment, obviously, I'm in Spain. So I'm going to zoom down to the area that I'll be flying in. At the moment, I'm in the Mercia region. Um, and I'm just going to find is some of the areas that I will be flying in. We've got Mazar on there. Um, and we can zoom in even more, especially to the area that I live. And we just come down, down to the coast. And we can go along the coast. And don't forget, you can zoom in and move it about as well, especially if you've got to go to a different area. Obviously not in that area, because that's an airport. And also you can check uh, for obviously no fly zone areas. So anyway, once you've done all this, what you can do now is you click up the top, you knock off the Wi-Fi, so there's no Wi-Fi on at all now, and your maps is still there. We just click on it again. And you can zoom in, zoom out, and it's already stored on your RC. So we just turn it off. So I thought to check my maps out, I thought I'd come out, then I'm 100% sure that the maps are working on my screen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll down on my RC screen here and turn on the record button. So what you can actually see now, you can, I can prove that the Wi-Fi is not on at all. So I'll just come out of that. There's the map. Now the map's already been blown up to where, showing where I am. Now if I make it smaller, I can see whereabouts I am. Now obviously one thing I know it won't do is if I put the satellite image on, it probably won't do that. But that just proves that the maps work so guys if you're going out somewhere you want to um, go to a specific place just at home turn on the internet down not download it but just go into the maps zoom around zoom out zoom it in just cover a bigger area because obviously this will store it on there for you so when you're out and if the worst gets the worst if you did lose it you got some good way of tracking it so I hope you found that useful as always and uh, fly safe and I'll catch you on the next one. Pretty much watching.
Okay, just before I go, just as I'm going out tonight, do another video for you guys. Free well had sent me three packs of ND filters for the Mini 3 Pro, which I can't wait to open up uh, and give it a go. So what I'll be doing in the next week or so is showing you how you fit these and also which is the best filter to use. Obviously here in Spain, probably going to be using the 64 because it's so bright here. But yeah, I've got to thank Freewell for sending me these top people. Come by FedEx, no doubt.